Hydration station. Everybody take a sip of their water. And if you don't have any water, take a moment. Go get some. We're here for you. We'll it's wait. good to drink water. Especially before getting blown up. Yeah, because you'd really rather wet pieces of your blown up flesh hit everyone <laughs> then, as opposed to like dry pieces. I think it's going pieces. to be wet no matter what when that happens. <laughs> Which hopefully won't happen to the doctor. Because hi everybody, I'm Kat. I'm Paula. And it really changes the the feeling of it's raining men, you know, when you think about it, it like that. It's raining men. <laughs> Stephen Moffat, he blew them up. Mm-hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, but don't worry, because they got put back together. Did they? Or did they not? Who knows with Moffat? They did, and then they didn't, and then they did, and then they didn't. And then they did. And, and then, then maybe they not? We're say. watching Doctor Who. It's the new season. New, 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 new. <laughs> this one is who. called Boom. Um, Nshuti has already. He said this is his favorite. Said that of the it's season. his favorite of the season. So like, which I frustratingly think will be very accurate. I have a passive aggressive relationship with Stephen Moffat. Stephen okay. Moffat, it's interesting. It's interesting. You know, hey Steve, we know hey. you watch. <laughs> we um, know you watch it. We're excited, though. We appreciate you. Uh, uh, I'm very yeah. excited. I, did, I think I saw someone say, uh, I would love if Stephen Moffat could write an entire season, but under the reins of RTD being a showrunner. <laughs> it's like, someone <laughs> else is running it, but you're going to write all the episodes. <laughs> Honestly, yes. Oh, it made me Honestly, laugh just like it did right that, now. That, I think, is like Doctor Who at its best. Yep. Like, RTD, like, big ideas with Moffat actually doing, like, the execution of the ideas. Yeah. Or even, like, Chibnall's big ideas, but mm-hmm. with Moffat but doing with the a, execution. Yeah. yeah. The execution. No one's actually getting executed if it's Please, Moffat around. No. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't know, y'all. I'm We're, having I'm, a... I'm enjoying this new season. I am, too. It's, like, it's high Is whimsy, there, right? But... Is there yeah. stuff in that first episode that was like, yeah, not great? Yeah, like, like, <laughs> what? I'm sorry. They're using what to um, get them to the sorry, huh? refugee camp? I've seen a conversation of like it does have the Disney feel, which like yeah, there are some aspects of that that are gonna happen because I don't know. I don't feel like it feels to me. It still just feels, feels very like, Doctor Who. Yeah. Like if you didn't tell me, I don't know that I would know. Like oh yeah, this is on Disney now, mm-hmm. but. I can appreciate, I can appreciate that feeling for yeah. sure at the same time. So. Definitely. Um, yeah, so I'm curious to feel, like, is this going to feel totally really different or not? You know, I, like, it's really, yeah. I think, yeah. I think, I think there might be some moments, but I think Moffat's going to come in and do a, a hard turn. <laughs> No. We've got a box He's gonna of tissues come in, there and a box of tissues here just in case. Because we had the whole conversation of like, we were like, oh, Eccleston, you know, um, the lightheartedness of Eccleston in the beginning and blah, and blah, blah. And it was like, sudden, oh, but wait. All, and then all of a sudden he's like, I killed all of my people. <laughs> and you're like, I what? Them all and we're like, I'm sorry. Huh? Uh-huh. So yeah, we're episode three. That's the time. That also, though, was happening with like weird like tree lady and a skin and person. Slovenes. You know, so like. Opening up their farty meat you know. suits. <laughs> Doctor Who at its best. Doctor uh, Who at its something. At its something. Depends on the day. Depends who you are. And hey, guess what? That's always okay. How can you spell my breath over the car? How's that? Dad skills yeah. as hell. Hmm. Oh, Moffat's gonna make us love somebody. <laughs> That's okay, they're all gonna die. I'm not gonna get attached to anyone. I am. Some of the men think the Castorians are in the fog. The Castorians. Like, they're made of fog. Of course, the fog's been analyzed, and it's just fog. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. Oh, don't you do this to me. Too late, you're already invested. It's okay, the little kid's the one who's gonna get blown up as a twist. <laughs> I think there might be an ambulance. Be fine. Oh, that's a bad thing? Yeah. 
don't have the divinity. They all have collars on. I was noticing. This is like freaking Warhammer. I'll let you see my tattoo. Your tattoo. It's not on general view. Look, I'm only doing this because I want you to stop Great. annoying me. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a million. Some posh Graham. I finished it yesterday. You'll love it. Uh, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Stop. I hate you, Stephen Moffat. I'm so nervous immediately. Immediately. And invested. I'm in love. Your eyes. You might detect the injury. Is it, does it take out people who are injured already? That's, you know, like they don't want to waste their time. Oh, the combat activated. You know, I'm not even sure. <gasps> don't step on it. Don't step on it. Susan Twist again? No. Oh. I'm alone. Leave him alone. Yeah, because I'm scared of you. My vision is temporarily impaired. Eyesight recovery time estimated. Four weeks. Evaluate. No! Four weeks! Leave a message at the toe. Ah. Kiss, kiss. Next of kin. Did you hear that? It's too late, doctor, and you're gonna step on a mine. Please! Oh. Doctor, is that you? Everything's fine. I'm not sure it is. Who said it wasn't? Yeah. Why are you singing? The Sky Bolt song. Like it? I didn't ask what you were singing. I asked why. Why? Zen on. And mine, Zen. I can't risk looking down. The senses are on hair tree. <sighs> now it's confirming if there's a live target on it. One wrong move and boom. <gasps> I go all food mixer. Ooh, what a line. I go all food mixer. Mm-mm. I was kind of hoping for a beach. <laughs> yeah. Do you think this is? Uh, it's not a beach. It was. I'll give it time. Or it will be. Everywhere's a beach eventually. <laughs> the look in his eyes. It's got lights around the edge, around the rim, green lights. Tell me if there's a gap in the light. He's it's doing not like gone off yet. triage, like just very. So I think there's a gap. Hoping for quite a big one. You have to be so careful. Does a landmine have lights on it? <sighs> Capitalism. <laughs> Flashy lights play well in a showroom. Oh, Would you say I'm sorry? About the ambulance okay. being dumb. Yes. Like you've taken out someone who is good enough, you right? Is there a V on it? Yeah. Biggest weapons manufacturer in recorded history supplied all sides in all conflicts for the past two centuries. All sides. Jeez Had to deactivate one of these ones. A lesbian Jim Cannon. Underwater for a bet, except it wasn't live. No, I wasn't standing on it. And I lost that bet. Sorry, wrong moment for this story. <laughs> Can you check and see if anyone needs help? You who need help? I'm not even screaming yet. <laughs> While you're up there, see if you can see anything heavy. Well, like Indiana oh, Jones. Oh, God. Uh, I need to increase the weight on the mine at the exact moment I decrease it. It's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be a moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is sass. It's so good. Hang on. Found something. A weird <gasps> thing. It's a heavy weird thing. Bring it. It's literally like his, his. urn yeah. of ashes. And they just leave it there. Hoovering up the smoke so that nobody can choke to death before they are safely shot. <laughs> What's Whoa. wrong? Ruby, have you seen something? Oh, Ruby, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Your first time on a new planet. Uh. Seven out of ten. Good trees, great mountains, rainbow crystal. Oh, mind you, this place is basically empty. Who'd pick a fight round here? Okay, I've got the heavy thing. What do you mean? Is it made out of his skin? Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's like. Is that his eyeball? No, yes, exactly. <laughs> Tell me what you're not telling me. <laughs> Could it be worse than being okay, that isn't an covered earth. in snot? There isn't a body inside of that. It is the body. That is a body. Compressed somehow. Like it's been... <laughs> She's like... Smelted? He was being 
Smelted. It's a good word. Smelted, isn't it? Not at the moment. I don't use the word smelted. <laughs> Ooh, I am having a day. Okay, are you getting scared because you're just babbling now? Toss it in your hand. Aww. Okay, yeah, that's about the right one. Uh -huh. About? Okay, it's exactly 6.732217 kilograms. I was Perfect. trying not to show up. <laughs> oh, doctor. Throw it to my right Why hand. Why throw it? To Can she it not? I understand, but it's too unstable. You'll have a much better chance if I just put it in your hand you will be caught in the blast well let's get it right then oh i forbid this. yeah okay yeah, <laughs> yeah okay i get too worried about you and my blood pressure goes up and i don't know how much leeway i have best not to worry then oh gosh she is they both are so sassy ruby this doesn't work you are brave and you are wonderful <laughs> and i forgive you for being incredibly stupid <laughs> and if it does work I'm gonna be very cross <laughs> for a very, very long time. Not that long, babe. <laughs> You're standing on a landmine. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. I can't believe how instantly I have loved these Fallen two. For instantly. Them. Okay, no way. Um, I need a beat like, like a song. Sing the song. The song. On the word sky. I love that song. Sweet. Let's go. <laughs> Sweet. And it's sad. And it's about soldiers fighting. It's sad, like a lullaby. Okay, it's... doctor, I'm ready. Stop babbling. Yeah. Onward the sailors cry. Over the sea to sky. Oh. Okay, okay. Ooh. The lights are moving. That's okay, that's right, that's right. It's right. She replied, young man, don't you know there's more to life than the moon and the president's wife? Ooh. One and a half. Thank yeah, you. tossing it would have been really bad. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Signature elements of my former personality have been incorporated into this interface. Kiss, kiss. Oh. My recovery was estimated as beyond acceptable parameters. Four weeks. For conflict as budgeted. Patients are expensive. The Langar battle products are fitted with AI. The algorithm maintains a fighting force at just above the acceptable number of casualties. Keeps you fighting, keeps you Ugh. dying, keeps you buying. Kiss, kiss. Because <gasps> my mummy got gathered up. Gathered up. My God, he loved her so much that he gathered her up early so she can be in heaven with him like an angel. <sighs> this is Ruby, and my name is the Doctor. The doctor isn't the name. Yeah, and I'm not even a doctor. <laughs> People don't usually bring that up. You're good already. <laughs> I'm Splice. Great name. Splice, Alison Vater. I am an AI reconstruction of your deceased parent. <laughs> Wait, stop. Daddy! Stop, 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 stop. Look, Look at what he's standing on. Wow, the doctor is so emotional. Yeah. I've never seen the doctor yeah. express emotion like this. What's happening? I'm the explosive. You are in my sights! <laughs> oh. You understand? I understand. He's on a landmine. He's standing right on one. Ma'am, I'm fully apprised of what he's standing on. My name is Mundy Flynn. I'm an ordained Anglican Marine. Yeah. You should marry Ruby. Then you'll be Monday Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get married, I'd laugh every day. <laughs> Go get married, I'd laugh every day. Are you aware those are the sacred remains of an ordained Anglican? Are you aware your face is ringing? Worried. You don't even like me. Of course, I. Uh, I can't wait to watch everyone we're growing attached to die. Just die. Somehow. So, We've never seen them. Excuse me? They're in the mud. Well, that's what we think. <laughs> what if they're nowhere? What if it's nothing? You're just getting killed by mines that your own people are putting out. I've met sentient mud lovely girls. I mean, grumpy. Yeah, but you try lying around with your face full of mammals all day. Sir, <laughs> It's now trying to assess whether it's acquired a viable target. If it can't, within a specified time, it blows anyway. Oh my god! Better get the TARDIS around him and zap him out of there. Not a human, I'm a time lord. <laughs> I am a complex space-time event. It's true. I'm Anglican. I'm a complex space-time event. Explosive than I look, and honey, I know how I look. Everything is possible. Everywhere is a beach eventually. Ha 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 Mm-hmm. You could blow up half of this planet. 
What do you mean that? So sorry. The, the ambulance algorithm won't let you. Can't, you? It literally, you can't fire your gun. Hello, Doctor Splice. Can I assist you with any persistent regrets? Persistent regrets. Oh my god. <gasps> he can't take much more. Come back, come back, detective. That's what she said. That's when we saw the Oh Shoot me. It needs to detect an injury, or it won't triage. Left one, please. Yes. Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> this has gone so sideways so fast. Oh, that got me. Yeah, it's not your fault, but also, that was wrong. Next of kin. Who is my next of kin? Next of kin. Damn it. <laughs> oh fuck! Snow! It's the fucking it's snow. <laughs> it doesn't snow here. It never snows. Please tell me. It's, it's good. It's good. It's good. The snow is good. While there's snow, there's hurt. <gasps> everything just freeze. Why did everything just stop? Mortality estimate four hundred and thirty-two seconds. Treatment with Fucking a. So messed up. It's so messed up. I feel like it's not even real. If not, if it's absolutely not. No way. But it's not programmed to assist non-believers. Surrender. Excuse You're me. gonna have to end Surrender. this conflict. News. Patient death. No. <laughs> Thoughts no. and prayers. No, 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 no. I can't think unless I'm talking, and I can only talk to you. You figured it out yet? There are no Castarians. I don't think Monday's figured They're out. They're not real. Ruby, they came here, what, six months ago? They set up their defenses and fired their warning shots into the air. It's standard procedure. <laughs> they advertised their presence. <laughs> uh, do you get it? Do you get it? Aww. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? It's not fucking real. You declared war on an empty planet. Yeah, you're all dying for nothing. You are fighting your own hardware and it's killing you at just the right amount to keep you by your Oh! <laughs> they aren't pulling any punches, are they? The magic word that keeps you never having to think for yourself. And it's all over. She gotta have faith in what you're saying for that to work too, so. Prove it. Only the bishop can declare a surrender, and the bishop will need proof. No. I need you to download yourself into the Belengard battle computer. That is not possible. I am not connected to the network. No, but the ambulance is, and the ambulance is connected to me, and I am connected to you. You are still a father. Dad to dad. You never let them down, right? He's just an AI simulator. Not if you're the doctor, baby. Maybe there's just enough personality in there. I'll be back. Much of the countdown left. Three minutes, maybe. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ooh, this is a spicy one. There are safeguards, hush. Mm. I saw your tattoo. But why? Because I, I like, like you. you. Why did you even come out here? Do you like me? Of course I like you. <laughs> Except Posh Graham. Who now thinks I like you? <laughs> <laughs> it was on his upper thigh. Why didn't you warn me? Does that mean you like me? <laughs> She's Louise! How are you? He's dead. Canto. It's Monday Flick. Fuck you, Stephen Moffat. <laughs> Recorded just for you. Oh. I love you. You don't love me back. She did love you back. He, but the best thing is, is he knew that right before he died. That's true. So That's this true. message is not how he died. Not updated. Oh, it's so disgusting. It's Was that gross. the ear? Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. How to protect their capitalism. Anything it can to protect mm -hmm. itself, anything at all. We saw the answer together. I, I remember, I remember daddy. The AI known as John Francis Beta. I think that's, that's her, face. right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I was saying earlier. I couldn't yep. tell. Please stand clear. Run. 
Start running. There's no point. I, it's going to blow up half the point. But, like, Run. what is it going to matter? No. I'm so sorry, Ruby. Three. I'm so, so sorry. Kiss. Kiss. He got... He got through! Dust to dust. The virus got through somehow. The... Virus alert. Patient acquired. Sharp scratch. <sighs> yep. He was able... That AI him... Had just enough of his personality in there. Oh. Was able to get through the defenses. Kiss. Kiss. All the X's. Your father, who art in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Antelope. Do you receive Antelope? That was very doctor. All of it. <laughs> Dropped her. By this little kid stand. Why are you lying around missing all the good stuff? What? Oh. Ride it with drums. I bet you could too. Doctor, you are insane. Do not step on another mine. Blangard, basically. Just wait till Daddy gets <laughs> Oh, gorgeous. Right, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Plenty more universe to see, and quite frankly, your lifespan sucks. <laughs> yeah. He's not I was gonna say, she hasn't even really been. He's just dead. He's not gone. You keep the faith, Splice. I thought you didn't like faith much, Doctor. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean I don't need it. <laughs> I will be popping in every now and then. Fish fingers and custard. <laughs> <laughs> We're all dead eventually. It's hardly any time that we're not dead. <laughs> it's a good thing too. A sad old man once told me, what survives of us is love. I'm in Wales. Is she? Doctor? Where's the doctor? It's her. It's oh, her. I don't know. Right, Jack. Is what the hell have you done? Oh, that, that was her. looks like it's gonna be so good. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, that episode the... gave me a headache. There we go. Just takes it a second to pull up. Oh, um, definitely tonally different. Totally different, definitely. Very Moffat. Um, I really, really enjoy getting to see the doctor with so much emotion. And it's not to say that he didn't show emotion previously, but, but there's more vulnerability yes. in the way his emotions come out. What I thought was really interesting about this was I feel like it takes that thing where the doctor's always, the doctor always feels like they need to be in control mm -hmm. of their emotional state. Yeah. But always on their own terms, right? And this was a scenario where they, were they forced had to be in control of that emotional state in a situation where that was very difficult. Mm -hmm. And I think that was incredibly interesting to watch. And no wonder this is Shudi's favorite episode. Yeah. Because from an acting standpoint, like, this is the one. Mm -hmm. This is the, like, meaty. Yeah. Uh, nah, nah. This is the one where you deal with all of it. Like, what an incredible challenge. And gosh, him at the end, I cannot believe how quick, I said this earlier when I was like, how quickly I've, like, fallen in love with these two yeah. together. And maybe it's because this is the first time I've had actual time between doctors yeah. that it's easier for me to accept what's this new, new situation. But new I tell you what, uh, this might be the most talented actor I have seen in a really long time. Judy? Yeah. Yeah. Have you watched Sex Education? Mm -mm. No. He will blow you away. Like, he is... Him in this role, like, his emotion, his humor, his sass, his seriousness, when at the end, then when he started, like, <clears throat> celebrating... Oh, yeah. That, Immediate switch. Like, he is in control, mm -hmm. right? Like, he 
controls the energy. He controls the scene. He it is, and I mean that in like a way where it's like he has command. He knows his of, yeah. What's happening? Like it's incredible. He it's knows incredible. his why. He knows his, you know, what he's wanting to get out of the scene, out of the situation. Like he's there and he's in it. And man, the casting between him and Millie, like, is they did such so a good job on. with that. Their chemistry is perfect. It's perfect. Yep. I have no notes. I have no notes. They are perfect together. I really, really like them. The woman that played the An- Angelican, is that what they called themselves? An- Anglican. Anglican, that's right. Mm-hmm. Um, she was great. I thought that I saw her in an image with potential companion stuff, hmm. but I don't know. It looked like I could it be... It could have been considering her, and then yeah. they didn't cast her, put her in this other role, because yeah, she was that's what I saw. so good. Loved she was her. also incredibly good. Yep. Um... That beginning scene was so good. Yeah. Like, building the tension between the two soldiers Mm -hmm. and, like... Setting up, like, the rules of this world. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, the immediacy of... Oh, like, the, the way that line was delivered with, there's an ambulance, I did not feel any hope no, yeah, we're like, when he said that line. Oh, yeah, immediately, we're like... This is bad. Oh no! And and then when he was like your eyes, and we were, I knew immediately. Oh, they're gonna think he is not useful He's because useless. of this injury, mm-hmm. and therefore they're gonna take him out. Like you know immediately what's being what's set about up. to go down. Um, I think the way the episode was written and acted was really good. Yeah. Um, just the way the ideas and everything came across and were communicated was just really spot on. I think. Um. Mm. Are you ready for things I didn't like? I'm so excited. I didn't want to, like, just burst out with all of them. I wanted yeah, to yeah, give yeah. you a chance to, like, say just what you were I'm excited to see what you didn't like to see if it matches with what I, I didn't like. Well, I will say, I think it this idea of, like, an algorithm, capitalism-driven war, I think is really cool. Like, yeah. Obviously not cool, but, like, great for a story Rele- like this. Relative. And relevant. And relevant, there it is. Um, totally sci-fi. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very, in some ways, it's not dissimilar to the Next Generation episode where they have, like, the simulation of the battles. And then they're like, here are the casualties. Here it is. You have to go die. It's not that different in some ways from that. But, um, so I I thought that was really cool. I don't like this idea that people who, um, the disdain with which Faith was treated in this episode, I did not like. Mm -hmm. I think that there are obviously, there's bad faith. (laughs) Um... You know, uh, there's just, like, he's like, don't just blindly believe, but now believe what I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's literally the same thing. Like, there are versions of faith that are good. And I do think a lot of times in media, versions of good faith are not portrayed, and that is because it's not interesting, right? It's yeah. not interesting. But I where's the had drama in that? A bit of a reaction to him being really derisive about faithfulness, mm-hmm. um, because I would consider myself to be a person of faith. Yeah, uh, and so I, I wasn't crazy about that. And they they helped. They put a bandaid over it at the end. I yeah, like, his okay. like all right. Um, but I was like, Meh. um, and then. <sighs> Okay, Moffat. Sure. Let's have a really beautiful moment and then kill someone. Yeah. How many times are we gonna do that? All the time. Because you did it multiple times in this episode. Like I'm like, cool, they're talking about how they love each other. One of Dead. them is about to die. No Great. question. Thanks. Thanks. That yeah. is such classic Stephen Moffat shit and it's <laughs> bullshit. And it's, like, not necessary. Here come the angry And maybe comments. if it was a two-parter and we could have, like, could have had it just more time. felt like all of us, like, oh, now we're going to have this moment so that I can rip it away from you. Instead yes. of something that, like, grew and actually developed and felt earned in the story. Like, we, did we need one more example? Because I was sitting there thinking, what justifies this? Did we Do really we need, need that second death? Another example, yeah, mm-hmm. of, this, of this war being bad. Did the... The woman soldier 
need, Mundy, did she need something else to motivate her in what was happening? Because she didn't. I don't think she did I don't think she did. I think the relationship of him telling her, of course I like you, like, I feel like that was enough justification for her to feel what she needed. The only reason, for me, as an audience member, the only reason to do that is to manipulate the emotions of your audience, and Stephen Moffat loves to do that. And... It just wasn't necessary. Sometimes yeah. those deaths aren't necessary. The dad, obviously at the beginning, his buddy had to die so yep. that he could get taken by the ambulance. Yep. And he had to die and for then the it rest builds of up this, the right? Like that is justified, even mm-hmm. though it sucks. This death, to me, was not justified for the character growth. And oh whoa, we have Ruby die and then magically <laughs> she gets revived at the end. She okay. didn't actually die. She came close to dying. She was basically dead. She came close My, to right. dying. Okay. And it's like, if that was the first, if this was the first Stephen Moffat episode I ever saw, I would probably think this was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. But like, I know your book of tricks, sir. Yeah. I know it. Do something Listen. new. Do something new. No. He refuses. That's how I feel. Like, did... And that's going to upset some of you, and that's okay. And you can have your opinions. Be kind about them in the comments. Oh, I'm going to... Uh, no, um, <laughs> no. Look, we obviously that is going to hit differently for other people. It's going to hit differently it is, all around. I don't. I will say I truly do not understand if you are not worn out on this device, this narrative device that Stephen Moffat employs over and over and over again. I don't understand how you cannot be worn out. Truly, it does it still affect you emotionally? Because I am so numb to it. And then I'm That's angry what I was when I'm say. feeling emotion yeah. about it. I'm angry because it feels cheap. Yeah. It is a cheap, manipulative, emotional moment rather than something that you've properly earned. Because it's, Which it's I, his bag of tricks. Yeah. Do it in a different way. A magician has to keep changing how you do that trick every time to keep me from seeing the sleight of hand behind it. And I don't think Moffat is able to change up his technique enough to keep us from seeing the tech that technique behind the trick. So we're not caught up in the magic of it. That is yeah. that's my feeling on it. There you go. I have to rehydrate now. Yep. That's what I think. Yep. I didn't uh, think I was gonna yes. feel this way after watching this episode. I thought I was really oh, gonna no, like I knew it. You'd feel this way. I was like, even if, like, he's going to do some emotional stuff, whatever, but it's one episode, it's been a while, it's going to be fine, but it just, he did all his little tropes. How do you He feel? knows what he knows. I don't know. I don't even know how to follow any of this. It's okay. <laughs> it is fully okay for you to not, for it to not bug you the way it bugs me. It, it's fully okay for you to be like, um, it works for me. Well, because here's it's the just, thing, I is I am more. not... Did I get emotional while watching it? Yes, of course. Like, it, it definitely... Um, I have two tissues worth of... <laughs> I definitely felt that. But also, I mean, what I feel is kind of happening on my side is what you're describing, which is I did not let myself fully immerse right. into... And I was even open to doing so, and I still couldn't let myself fully... Because you knew he was going to pull some shit. Yeah. Yeah. It was not. I was like, the Kanto thing, or that was his name, Kanto. right? Kanto. Mm-hmm. I felt, I was like, you know. this guy's going to die. And it's going to be sad, but he's going to die. Like, it can't, I can't let myself get lost in the moment and have it affect me because, which is just so interesting. Because I am such a person, and I feel like a lot of people here who watch the channel will know this, like, I've rewatched Doctor Who so many times, and Stephen Moffat's stuff, his previous stuff, I can rewatch. Like you put a River Song in front of, like a River Song episode in front of me, I'm gonna fucking cry, like uh, you know. But it's just fascinating that I'm having this reaction, this go around, where I'm you think like, people are gonna say I've ruined you. Do you think? No. Do you think I? Do you think my people reaction... said that about me to you in the beginning with Clara and not liking like my issues with Clara and Moffat? A bunch of people at the time who I'm sure don't watch the channel anymore. <laughs> <Word. laughs> <Like, laughs> they bailed. Listen, to Angels Jody. Take Manhattan cleared out a big portion of people. Um, and, sorry, no, it's okay. Uh, but in the beginning with out. the Clara stuff, people really were like. Cat, you're gonna, and I'm like, dude, I 
coming a mile mind. We disagree, but we we all we have definitely we always, have things where we don't have the same opinion about whether or not we thought something worked. Yeah, you know. Um, but no, you haven't ruined Van Moffat or anything. That was like my. Ge- there was a point in the episode, the intro was so good. Yeah. But then there was something a little bit afterwards where I just kind of you know what honestly for me it was probably the little girl and I understand yeah. that the faith based like the aspect of it where she doesn't necessarily believe her father is dead or like he's dead but he's still there but there was just like such a lack of acknowledgement yes. of him having been yes cramped up into a little yeah human uh, it tube. was a bit strange the way and she was just immediately like Oh yeah, now I'm looking at these photos of that, us together. Like that, I'm like I immediately you're not even was sad? disconnected. Like what's happening? That pulled yeah. me right out. That, that yeah. pulled me right out. When that happened, I went, "Why is this happening? Yeah. What's the purpose for this? I yeah. don't understand." The like I can sit here and if I try to overthink it, and I'm like, maybe it helped instill it the humanity to, into the AI yeah. to help him come back around like, and set take up the it whole, out. Like, dad caring about his daughter thing. I if think, I but, now yeah. post watching can pick that apart and try to instill that thought with it, and but watching it, it was just very like this little girl, her dad's dead, and she's just like. Boop, boop, boop. Let me yeah. swipe through these photos. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, yeah. But it was very Moffat. It was still very good. And I just love it. Yeah. I mean, we already said it. Millie and Shuti are just. Oh, gosh. They're just unreal. Um, I'm interested to see this overarching thing with Ruby. I'm also now. She's, she's on a path to being an impossible girl. The sequel. I'm truly, I'm having some serious, like, did Moffat and RTD, like, throw us a daughter of Clara? Like, that's a theory that's, like, wouldn't that be fucking insane? That would be, I don't even know. It's just, it's, the amount of times I'm watching Root, and I love, and it's the same thing with Jenna Coleman. Jenna Coleman is so... Oh, she's incredibly talented. talented. Everything she was handed, she did the fucking greatest with it. She is phenomenal. I just watched her in Sandman. Mm. She's great. And she's... Y'all... Oh. (laughs) She's so hot. (laughs) She's hot as hell. Are you kidding me? Um... So, yeah, I loved Jenna Coleman. And I even adore Clara throughout moments of her story as well. Um, yeah, she has lots of great so moments. So many fucking good moments. So she many, just, so many, so many good moments. The rug gets pulled out of you just a few too many times. And and that's what can get exhausting with the overarching like, aspect right. of it. You know, after being outside of it and being able to go back and watch it, it's like, oh, I can kind yeah. of, like, jump in and enjoy these episodes a little bit yeah. more because I know what's coming and whatever. Um, but there's a lot of times I am watching Ruby or Millie Gibson's performance of it, and I'm getting serious mm. Clara vibes. Like serious Clara mm. vibes. And that could just be coincidental. Yeah. But, man, the there's so much. The thing about, like, so time much. stopping in the snow coming, like, why does that keep happening? What is it about her? Like, when he was like, oh, Ruby's doing it, and I, was, I immediately and went, now, is, is this a Clara thing? And now, something, like, superstitious or mythical because there's this whole, you know, salt at the edge of the universe. We've got goblins coming through. We've got... You know, the bogey monster, mm. which, yes, was created by the machine, but also was a literal, like, nightmare brought to life in a story. So there's, like, all of these story mythical aspects that keep coming through. And now with this actor or actress Susan Twist, because mm. um, that's her name in real life is Susan Twist. Uh, she's been in every, every episode. episode. Something with her. There is something with her. Is that Susan? Is Ruby somehow... The doctor's like great, great, great granddaughter or something. Is Ruby even real? I don't even want to go there. That's what I mean. Like it's all the, these possibilities are endless when it comes to Russell T. Davis. Like, who's the one who waits? I don't know. It's just something that they come up with. They don't. I, they don't even know. It's just something they come up with because it sounds cool. Like silence will fall. And then they're like, "What's this? What does it mean?" Well, he only had one out. season to do, like. Well, not that's not true. He's got the next season following this. But I don't know. I think there's something wild coming in, and we are having the doctor talk so much more about having a family mm. 
than mm. ever. Like he, he's mentioned being a dad, a dad, and a granddad. He has brought it up times. so much more, mm-hmm. and so much more. Not like not nonchalantly, because he does mention it very nonchalantly. But he's no, he less like doesn't. He's really less protective of it. it. Yeah. Like, previous doctor would just kind of like use it as like a throwaway thing, yeah. you know. This feels very adamant and very relevant and very. Uh, maybe it's just because I also just desperately want Susan to come back. She's a bad guy. Now. That's what is she? He left her. Like, granted, she was in love, but what? We don't know what happened to her after that. What if it just went really fucking bad? He's like, well, and then he never came never back. back. Yeah, that's pretty the cool. one who waits. It's Susan. It's Susan. I want to it to back. be Susan. I bet it is because she's the one waiting for him to come back. Isn't it fun being here? <laughs> oh. That's my Susan impression. <laughs> Could you imagine? I know, it's my favorite Susan impression. Ah, I love Poor Susan. Poor thing. I adore oh, I her. I can't get out of this jail cell because there's a rat. Uh, All right, ma'am. Girl. All right. Ma'am, you're about to get... You're about to get your neck. To, okay, well, let's just go to No, guillotine. Then. Sorry, you're about to get your neck chopped. Dig out. Get out of there. <laughs> oh, talk about, like, again, that's kind of that same thing of, like, those serials that are too long. Mm. And so it's almost that kind of similar style writing where mm. they went back to jail. They got out of jail. They went back to jail. They got out yeah. of jail. It was, like, that same mm. kind of a little bit moffity. <laughs> Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bless his heart, Stephen Moffat. Um, I can't wait for the next episode, though. That looks really That looks fun. so good. I've been... Uh, this Susan Twist thing is crazy. I don't know yeah. what... I mean, obviously, that's not this character's name, but this situation is fascinating. And yeah. then there's... Oh, Paula, okay. Because then we still have Mrs. Flood. <laughs> Yeah. Which was Mrs. Flood. That was Susan Twist. Was that Susan Twist? No. Yes? Is that the same no, actor? No. Yes. I think that was someone else. No, that was... Oh, no. I can't remember now. now. I'm panicking. Ooh, wait. I can't remember now. Maybe it is. I think it maybe is. I'm sorry, everybody. Sorry, I might be confusing her for someone else for a second. Oh, no, it is. Anita it Dobson, is. because that's the that. one who we watched in Red Dwarf. Yes. Um, I was like, wait, there is someone, because it's someone who we saw in something else. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Which also, yes, we know. Mm-hmm. I can't remember if we talked about it on camera or not, but um, the woman who played uh, at the piano, the older woman. Mm-hmm. The woman who... In the costume. Yes, made mm-hmm. Tom Baker's scarf. Mm-hmm. Don't y'all worry. Um, okay, but then there's the Mrs. Flood thing. Yeah. Because we thought Mrs. Flood might be Susan. Or is she maybe a, a part of the Legion? Because we had Mrs. Flood in the beginning who didn't know what the TARDIS was. When it disappeared, she dropped her co- groceries. She was shocked, you know, yelling about it being in the middle of the street. We could say maybe she was acting. But the hard shift of after something when they went and left with the goblins, I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, there could have been a doctor who traveled with her for a little while in between the first time she saw it and that moment because... Timey wimey. Uh, what do you think? I still love this. I love it. Oh my gosh! I still yes. love it. Please don't I'm here mistake. for the ride. Please, no one should mistake me being like this part of the episode was dumb for me not liking the show because yeah, no, we're here. I we do. Love I can't it. wait to watch. And that was a really yeah. good episode. No, it was very good. So, <sighs> everybody. So, yeah. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you all so very much. We sure do. How are you feeling? What's your thing? What, what's what's your vibe? I ran no. into a friend on the, on the, I was on a music video today uh, for a friend and the lead singer, Dr. Who got brought up and he was like, you're a Dr. Who fan? I was like, yeah, I'm about yeah, to go watch the new episode right now. And he was like, how do you feel about the new season? <laughs> and we were like talking about it a little bit and he's feeling a little unsure, mm-hmm. you know, and then we were just kind of like having that fun conversation mm-hmm. of, like, what he wasn't necessarily liking and what I was like. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, we can have those conversations. Yeah. It's so fun to have them. Yeah. I came and started talking about Capaldi and how much I love Capaldi, and he was like, I have not met somebody who loves Capaldi mm-hmm. this way. And I was like, oh, pff, we can talk great. about Capaldi all day long, baby. Yeah. Let's fucking go. I love that man. Uh, and I love him as the doctor. Uh, so it's so fun. It's fun mm-hmm. when we have different yeah. perspectives and things that we like and don't like. Um, yeah. Just as we ask, be kind about it. Respectful. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's all. Did you hate it? Did you love it? Are you indifferent? Do you have theories? Let us know. Down below. And, uh... Sign up for our Patreon. Yeah. Patreon.com slash Gallifrey Gals. You That's can catch right. full-length reactions and join for the watch-along stuff. Mm -hmm. Get Discord community... <laughs> Discord community and different behind-the-scenes reactions if you're at our higher tiers. Yeah. And subscribe, stick around, like the video. Yeah, thanks. We appreciate you all. And, um... Sorry if I made you mad. Yeah, you know. If you're still here, catch us next time. As we watch more Who. Who? The Doctor. It's not even a name or a profession. <laughs> like He's that. so good. No one ever brings that up. I know. I'm also, smart. You're the name good. Splice. I'm into it. I love that. I'm going to have to name a TTRPG character. Splice. I was that too. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait. I did it the other way, so I flipped them off, and I didn't mean that. <laughs> the Americans won't know. Everyone I'm sorry. else.